Thank you and good morning, everyone. When we gather around treaty lands, our Catholic social teachings call us in solidarity with our indigenous brothers and sisters to honor and respect the four directions, lands, waters, plants, animals, and ancestors that have walked before us. We want to acknowledge the traditional territory of the Anishinaabek Nation, the people of the three fires, known as Ojibwe, Ottawa, and Potawatomi Nations. We acknowledge the rich historical and modern traditions of the many First Nations and Métis people. We further give thanks to the Chippewas of Saugeen and the Chippewas of Nawash, now known as the Saugeen Ojibwe Nation, as the traditional keepers of this land. I'll now pass it on to our chaplain, Mrs. Legacy, for today's prayer. Good morning, Sacred Heart. Today is Wednesday, May 19th. Today's reading is from the book of Hebrews. No faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sometimes what we've always believed and accepted as children can seem unbelievable as we grow older. As you grow older, you will make decisions for yourself about what you believe, not just follow certain beliefs because your parents do. Julie stopped being involved in church because she felt it didn't mean anything to her. Francis too didn't feel he was getting anything out of mass, but kept going while he sought answers to his questions. Who demonstrated more hope and integrity? We owe it to ourselves to seriously study what we believe so that we can grow into an adult faith. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving God, stay with us every step of the way as we search for you on your journey to an adult faith. Amen. Sacred Heart, have mercy on us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In Ontario, we have four pillars in what is known as the Achieving Excellence document. That's what this looks like. This is kind of like a game plan for how schools run in this province. Okay. In that game plan, we have four goals. One is to achieve excellence with everything we do, especially with our academics. Two is that schools need to ensure equity. Three is to promote well-being. And four is to enhance public confidence. So enhance the confidence that the whole society in Ontario has in our public education system which includes our Catholic schools like Sacred Heart. Pillar number two in Ontario's Achieving Excellence document involves ensuring, ensuring equity for all of our students in our school, providing every student with a safe learning space and a safe learning environment. Furthermore, we have in Ontario something called the Education Equity Secretariat. This is a branch of the Ministry of Education. And so right now we have a Minister of Education. Uh, his name is Minister Lecce, and he works with uh, the Ford government. And within the Ministry of Education, we have the Education Equity Secretariat which has called all schools in particular this year to work on anti-racism once again so that all of our students feel as though they belong at sacred heart we denounce all forms of racism in our school community and beyond and we will continue to message this within our community. A focus on anti-racism 
and improved equity for our students means greater success for all of our students, especially those who belong to marginalized groups. In particular, those in the black community, the indigenous community, and all people of color, with whom we have many in our school. Today, May the 17th, happens to mark the 67th anniversary of the landmark American Supreme Court decision where racial segregation in schools became outlawed, meaning people of color, black people, racial minorities could go to school with white people. I am a white male living in Canada. I have been given plenty of privilege in my life. And part of my journey with you all is learning how to, be, how to become an ally with those of us in our community who haven't had the privileges that, for example, I have had in my life. Allyship is a major influencer in our goals at Sacred Heart for ensuring equity for all of our students. An ally is someone from a more privileged background who listens, empathizes, and learns from students who come from marginalized backgrounds in order to build a healthier community where inclusion, acceptance, greater awareness, and success for all becomes a more understood and realized priority in our school. This is the learning journey we are all on as we build Sacred Heart into a place of allyship. Some of our action items to foster growth and allyship will include further education on equity, diversity, and inclusion in our school, providing greater opportunity for student leaders to be agents for positive change in this, and empowering the voices of those of you who come from these marginalized groups. As followers of Jesus, who defended those who were marginalized in a peaceful way, and as a Catholic school community, this is the work that we are called to do for our students, friends, peers who come from marginalized backgrounds. This takes a team effort. Each and every person has an important role to play to create positive change in our community. As St. Teresa of Calcutta said, quote, I can do things you cannot. You can do things I cannot. Together, we can do great things, end of quote. Together at Sacred Heart, as allies, we can do great things to improve the experiences of our marginalized students. We have work to do, and that process has begun. I hope you all have a nice day. It's your birthday, it's your birthday, happy birthday.